the images before you are left to right Walter Hilton Oscar Romero is on the right and Paul Couturier is in the middle in fact three really interesting men with great stories to tell if you want to have a look on the page on Facebook afterwards you'll see everything about them let's come before the Lord the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end Amen our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth and so a moment to reflect on the day coming to its close and we pray together most merciful God we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ Amen O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from them from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you, yourself, created my inmost parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written as day by day they were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God, how great is the sum of them. If I count them, they're more in number than the sand, and at the end, I am still in your presence. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah 58, 6-7 Is this not the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house, when you see the naked to cover them, not to hide yourself from your own kin? Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ died for us so that, whether we wake or sleep, we might live with him. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Christ died for us, so that whether we wake or or sleep, we might live with him. The day comes to its end, its labours, its toils, its challenges ended, and we, Lord, gathering all that this day has been, bringing it before you, rejoicing in the good pondering on the challenges and repenting of the failings. Father, we gather up this day and we lay it before the cross of Christ, asking for healing, for growth, for joy in the memory of blessings given and received, in contemplation of the needs of those people, those places, those things that are on our hearts. And Father God, as we lay before you all this day has contained, we thank you for the life that we have, for your presence in us, your spirit on us, and all that you give us that takes us through this day and to its close that we might with thanks and gratitude for all this day has been. Lay the day down and ourselves to our beds, knowing that tomorrow, whether we wake or sleep, we are yours, we are in your presence, we are in your hand and always upon your heart. Father, we pray this night for those for whom we pray so regularly, those for whom we hope, those for whom we weep. And we pray for John's brother, Derek, who was 91 on the 5th of this month. And now, having had a stroke, now has COVID and has been moved to a COVID ward. 
Father, we pray for this man and his health. And as we do, we pray for those we know who have COVID also at this time. We pray for the so many people that we know. The amazing numbers of people that are known to us who in the last two or three days have tested positive. Father God, as we pray for those who have COVID, we pray for those who are recovering, for Leah and for Emma, for the many others who we know only by hearsay rather than by name perhaps. We pray for Ian and for all who suffer with motor neurone disease and for Trish and for Olive as they watch and wait and pray. Father, we pray for those with cancer, for Pat and for Margaret and for June, for George. Father, for the so many people perhaps known only to us. We pray for those like Graham who need a transplant. We pray for our older friends and family, such as Derek, who had a full cracked ribs and is still poorly. Father God, we lift to you people on our hearts this night, for Harry and for Damien, for Barbara and her recovery after the fall, and for Terry and for Janet and Brian. Father, for the names that are rare every day, for the people who we think of every day. Father God, we pray that as we lay them before you now, as we lay them at the foot of the cross and ask for the love and light of Christ and your spirit to rest upon them. Father, we pray for them and for ourselves that we would know the strength to continue to believe, to trust, to hope. And as we do that, Lord, we pray that you would shine your light upon us now, that you would give us all that we need So we bring before you our thoughts and prayers. And as we do, Lord, we reflect on the three images before us. For the man on the left, a man who is amazing all that he was in his ministry and life for a man who tried life as a hermit but then became part of the community of canons at Sir Garton in Nottinghamshire a man who wrote spiritual works a man who made all that God is that little clearer and the man in the middle, Paul Couturier. A man who has done so many things in his life, which ended the same year I was born. A man who broke bread and celebrated the Eucharist each day. Prayed for unity within the church. And for Oscar Romero, a man from El Salvador, who as an archbishop was killed by a gunman while presiding at mass for his opposition to the wrongs of that country. 
as he demanded that the government looked at the poor, that there was economic and social justice, three men who lived and served in very different ways, in very different times. 1396, 1953 and 1980. Lord, may our lives, though not perhaps as influential as theirs, make you known in all that you are. We pray, Lord, that you pour your grace into our hearts, that as we've known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. So we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. O come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. So thank you for being with us. Stay safe, sleep well. May those for whom you pray and all creation know the love of God this night. Sleep well, guys. Be blessed. <laughs>